to the hop, to the hip, hip hop. Orthoptera just can't stop the hop. In class, insecta, this order is found. They live in the grasses that grow on the ground and eat them too. It's called herbivory, a characteristic of all 18,000 species. Most can hop 200 times their own length. Hopping like that takes a lot of strength. They've got saltatorial legs for jumping high and tegmina covers for the wings that fly. The length of antennae and ovipositor tells you which group a species belongs to. Crickets and katydids are long-horned. Regular old grasshoppers are short-horned. When you hear this buzzing late at night, it's the sound of orthopterans. Yeah, that's right. Snowy tree crickets and katydids too, making so much noise that it's hard to smooth. Stridulation is how they make their sound, rubbing wings and legs together in the background. And how do they hear the songs they've sung? With a membrane on the abdomen called a tympanum. This group goes through incomplete metamorphosis. If you bother them, sometimes they spit brown juices. Orthopter has been on Earth for a hundred million years. Beautiful and unique from all their peers. And tasty too. For as you can see, they're a sustainable food source for you and me. Whew, that was a lot of fun. If you'd like to find out more about edible grasshoppers and crickets, check out the links in the description below. I don't know about you, but jumping like a grasshopper seems like a great excuse to go outside and get messy. Thanks so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I will see you next week.